Go from the presence of a foolish man, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. <clears throat> folks, folks, I am watching a video here on YouTube called Power Through Prayer by John Hagee. He is one of my favorite pastors and, and, and ministers. He just said, prayer will either make you leave off sinning, sinning, S-I-N-I-N-G, if I'm spelling that correctly, or, or sin will make you leave off praying. That whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. Psalm 100 says, The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Matthew chapter 6 says, If we don't forgive those that have sinned against us, we won't be forgiven. But if we do forgive them, we shall be forgiven. Luke 6 says, Love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them, and, don't, and, and do not be concerned that they might not repay you so lord lord i ask you to give myself and every christian the desire to stay on our knees as much as it would please you for the amount of time that it would please you i confess my sins i forgive all those that have sinned against me I ask, I ask this for myself and all who will ever watch this video in Jesus' holy name. Lord, thank you. Amen. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, 
but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Lord, Lord, I confess my sins. I forgive those that have sinned against me. Lord, Lord, I ask you to take away every opportunity a, a, a Christian has to be foolish. Lord, please remove and permanently take away every opportunity and every and every single desire and and thought that a Christian has to be foolish. Lord, Lord, so we will have no need to feel guilty. I ask you to remove every desire that a Christian has to be foolish. I ask, I, I ask this for myself and all your people. In, in, in Jesus' holy and merciful name, Lord, thank you.